Let's talk about static efficiency and why it matters. Sometimes you'll hear from a fan manufacturer or maybe from your rep, hey, this fan is 80% efficient. Why is that good? What's bad? Well, we're going to start just by going through what the equation for static efficiency is so you can see how it ties to your fan. So static efficiency is the product of your volume and your pressure. So volume is how much air you want to move through your fan. Static pressure is how much resistance you want that volume to be able to fight through. Divided by a constant, 6343, times horsepower, which is the energy required to drive that volume and that pressure through the fan. So the result of that is the number that you get in static efficiency. So this is how it could matter to you. Let's say someone said, I can do that at 80% static efficiency. And let's use 20,000 CFM as an example. You want to move 20,000 CFM. And you want that to fight through 10 inches of water of resistance and static pressure. And so if you can do that at 80% static efficiency, then if we substituted 0.8 for this, we put 20,000 in for that, we put 10 in for that, the horsepower requirement to do that would be 39.4 horsepower. So you can move 20,000 CFM at 10 inches with only a 40 horsepower motor. But let's say the technology wasn't that great, and you could only get 50% static efficiency. So put a 0.5 here and leave that at 20,000 and leave that at 10, and the resultant horsepower requirement is 63 horsepower, which would need a 75 horsepower motor to drive it. So hopefully that explains a little bit the importance of static efficiency.